Hey guys, it's Keith from Kinvert, and I'm going to be showing you real quick how to get Vector's MAC address. Okay, and uh, while I'm doing it, well, I'll do it first, and then I'll tell you why that might matter. So first we're going to double tap the button on his back. So now he's showing the, the name, and I'm going to probably blur that. Now I'm going to bump that. Now we've got his IP address and stuff. I'm going to click once more. And now we're looking at the screen that has his MAC address, and it is the second line there that we're looking for. So I'm going to go through some. So this is some other stuff, and I'll go over some of this. This I can actually kind of show you a little bit. Um, I'll end up making another video about this. So there's, there's a lot of different stuff that we can actually do with them. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get out of this menu. So we just keep tapping until we get past all these menus. We're back at the original. Now we can wiggle his arms again, and he's back to being Vector. Um, so why might this be important? Um, some people require a MAC address to be able to use their Wi-Fi. Um, this is true for people who have like extra security on their Wi-Fi at home. And this is also true like when I was getting my engineering degrees. Anywhere that I went on campus, I had to get them the MAC address to the central uh, tech guys. And then they would approve that device. But even if I have my you know username, password, all that, if I get a new computer... I've got to, it won't work, right, until I get them the MAC address. And so that's another example. If you're in college, it's going to be pretty common for you to, if you want to use Vector, you're probably going to need a MAC address. Could be different for your school. But anyway, um, that's how we do it. I'll be leaving a link in the description below showing a little bit more detail how to do it, how to use it. Um, and that's about it. This is Keith from Kinvert, and we'll see you later. Bye.